Hey folks, welcome to the Morse Summer 2020 Adventures Day 20. It is the uh, 15th of July 2020 and we had a good day today. Um, visited some old areas that uh, I hadn't seen in a while um, and revisited some areas that I had visited last year. Okay, um, but that's all good. Hey, listen folks, um, you know, today we had a really nice day. I think the high was like 96, I think. Uh, we had a slight breeze. Sometimes we had some thunder showers. Uh, while we were out and about, uh, I think it rained for 20 seconds in Tombstone. And then after we got back to uh, my sister's house, uh, other parts of Bisbee uh, got inundated with some thunder showers and, and all that. But uh, we didn't get much here uh, at her house. But anyway, that's okay. Um, Pictures today, um, some of those will be of Tombstone. Uh, some of them will be of the um, the area, you know, between Bisbee and Tombstone. And uh, the uh, Tombstone Monument, uh, I didn't know it until today. Um, and I took a picture of it, and it's, it's a big monument. It's a stack of, of rocks. Um, back in the early, early, like, you know, Wild West mining days. Uh, when a miner would die, our stick is claim he'd put a couple rocks up there. Well, when actually the founder of Tombstone passed away, um, and he was a miner, um, they built a large monument of rocks in his honor. Uh, the story goes, uh, you know, he had been a supplier for the cavalry and uh, decided to strike out on his own, and the, uh, some of the cavalry, you know, some of the soldiers and whatever, told him that uh, the only thing you're going to find is your tombstone. And so when he struck it rich with the silver mines and gold mines around tombstone, when he, the first one, uh, he named the town tombstone because that's what the soldiers said. The only thing you're going to find is your tombstone. And uh, a little bit of history there. But um, hey, it, it was a good day. Uh, took some pictures there around it. And, and then uh, I stopped and I went out into the brush there so I could get some close-up pictures. Um, some of you folks know about it. Uh, most of you probably don't. But there is a type of cactus out here called the Ocotilla. And, you know, uh, it, it grows uh, in just a lot of straight branches straight up. Okay, kind of like you know, just just straight up. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, I got I got some pictures of it. All right, and you know it's it's green most. You know when it's when it's wet. You know it, it's it's like all the other plants. You know it turns green and everything, but then when it dries, um, you know all the the foliage on it, everything you know disappears and it becomes very brittle. Uh, it's got some large barbs on it. And back in the Western days, in the, in the early West, um, ranchers would take it and cut it and then strap the, the pieces end to end um, and make the corral fences and whatnot uh, in represent of modern day bob wire. And when you see these pictures, you'll see the barbs on it and you'll see why. And uh, some places still do it. Okay. But... Uh, that's a little bit of that. And then, you know, of course, I took some pictures of some mystique, you know, um, so people would see, uh, you know, they hear about the mystique barbecue and this and that, whatnot. Well, that's that's the, the plant. That's the tree, if you will, uh, that they make the charcoal out of or they use it to, for smoking and use the, the branches itself and not charcoal. And then, I'd, uh, of course, took some pictures of, of Tombstone. Uh, when we came back into Bisbee, uh, took some pictures of the old Phelps Dodge. Phelps Dodge was the company that uh, for a long time was the mining company that, that supported Bisbee. Uh, a few years back, they started closing down and another company called Freeport or Fremont or something like that bought them out. And uh, the, of course, the price of copper has dropped. So, you know, it's it's going downhill and, and a lot of the miners, they've all they have here now is just a skeleton maintenance crew to keep the machines to keep the uh, uh, tunnels and the shafts and whatnot somewhat pumped out. A large uh, open pit mine plus many shafts uh, and underground mines here. Uh, 
the, the, the old town is built up on the hill. Uh, a lot of old houses that date back to the early, you know, 19 teens and 1920s. Um, you know, went into the Copper Queen Hotel today and uh, took some pictures of that, uh, you know, and the, the, one of the, uh, the, the employees there working at the front desk of the hotel pointed out that the tiles were hand laid in 1922 and it's original tile floor. So I've got a picture of that, but you know, Bisbee is just a, a town that is rich with, uh, you know, the early American Western history, as well as mining history. Um, you know, they, they had a strike here. Uh, I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was, you know, like in the thirties, maybe the forties. Um, and they took, uh, took the union members and put them on a train and railed them right out of town. Okay. The, uh, and it wasn't Philip Dodge at that time, but you know, it was the mine owners and they weren't paying, uh, they weren't playing the games with the, with the strike and whatnot. But, uh, it was really a, a fun day. Uh, I'll say good weather, good temperature. Got a lot of pictures. Uh, I've got <laughs> almost 200 pictures. And of course you can only, you know, post 80. So I'll, I'll just randomly pick some, but hope you enjoy the video. Uh, again, they are now on, uh, on Facebook or not Facebook, excuse me, uh, YouTube. So, you know, if you just want to see the video and not have to go through all that, it's, you know, capital letters, Morris, and then summer with a capital S and it'll come up. Uh, and, and today will be day 20. So, Hey, yeah, uh, today's scripture, um, is Hebrews four sixteen. you know, let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And of course, uh, you know, the, the short version, come boldly to the throne of our gracious God, where we will receive his mercies. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, Hebrews 4, 16. And, you know, in today, with all the turmoil we have going, not just here in the United States, okay, folks, we have turmoil going around the world. You know, uh, there there is, is injustice of all sorts, you know, going on all over the, around the world. So, you know, you know, as Christians, we can boldly come before God and say, you know, and find that grace and that mercy, you know, the greatest one being sending his son for our sins. All right. And that's what gives us the rights, you know, uh, in, 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 in Christ's time, uh, on that day of atonement, that I've talked about earlier in these videos, you know, the high priest was the only one that could enter the Holy of Holies. And of course he had bells on his robe and a rope on his ankle. And whenever those bells quit, you know, ringing, then they had to pull him out because he had gone into the holies of the holies with sin in his heart. Okay. Uh, but when Christ died, that veil that separated the rest of the temple from the holy of holies was rent in two from the top to the bottom. All right which gave us exposure to the Holy of Holies, which gave us exposure to God, in other words. And that's what we can, that's why we can say, you know, we can come boldly to the throne of God and find his mercy and grace, and especially in this time of, of, of need. Okay, so folks, you know, don't be afraid. Just petition God. Okay, he says, boldly come to me. You know, you are mine through the blood of Jesus. We're the family of God. Hey, y'all be blessed. You have a good night. Have a good day tomorrow. And uh, with Lord willing, I'll have you another video tomorrow. I was only going to, this was going to be my last one, but I, with things that are going on, uh, I think I might have some more uh, exciting stuff for you. All right. Um, and to uh, all my beekeeper friends, it says, be happy. All right. <laughs> hey, beekeepers have got to have a sense of humor sometime or another. Y'all be blessed. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.